What's up guys, it's BT here and this is the battle between the SteelSeries QCK and the Artisan FX0 mouse pads. And I wanted to do this to kind of show you guys the differences between the QCK, the legend. I think every one of us will have one of these or own one of these in our lifetime versus the new kit on the block, the Artisan that has all these different weaves and great build quality. On the website of the Artisan Zero, it actually says that this is the closest mouse pad to the QCK. But I kind of beg to differ and I'm going to go over the differences between the two today and which one you should get. So there's a huge price difference here. The Artisan is 4,000 yen or $40 and the QCK is $20, so about half the price. So is it worth it to even get the Artisan at this point? So the dimensions of the QCK are 450 millimeters by 400 millimeters by two millimeters thick. The dimensions of the Artisan are 490 millimeters by 420 millimeters by four millimeters thick. So about double the thickness of the QCK. Low sensitivity people are gonna love the XL size on the Artisan it just gives you a little bit more breathing room around the edges. The QCK doesn't have stitching around the edges and we all know that they start to come up after some time, maybe after a year, maybe after a couple weeks, maybe you get some bubbles in your mouse pad. That's not gonna happen with the Artisan. This thing is stitched around the edge and it's some of the best that I've seen on any mouse pad. Now, some people don't like stitching and I know some of you guys out there don't because you've told me, but I really feel like it adds to the durability of the mouse pad. I also like the minimal branding on the Artisan Zero FX as well compared to that big Steel Series logo that we've all become accustomed to that I think our brain just kind of warps it out and just sees it as uh, being all black. But that thing is huge if we really look at it. The QCK has more of a standard rubber base, whereas the Artisan FX Zero has a non-slip base. And this thing, it's been so-so for me. This is actually the best non-slip base on an Artisan mouse pad that I've tried. It actually stays in place better than any other mouse pad that I've actually tried from them. So I'd say they're about the same in that regard. They both stay in place very, very well. So when talking about performance, I really wanna stress consistency. In gaming, we all wanna be consistent. And I noticed pros, they would like switch out their SteelSeries mouse pads on a like regular basis. And that's to keep consistency in their gaming. They don't want a worn down mouse pad. And we all know we've all had a QCK where the middle gets all brown and nasty and just sweaty. It's just gets all nasty. It doesn't look good on your desk, right? You wanna throw it out and then you gotta buy another one. So what happens? That $20 is gonna turn into 40. It's gonna turn into 60. It's gonna turn into 80. Before you know it, you're gonna be spending well over what the artisan costs, and the artisan will actually last you a longer period of time. So there's no denying that the QCK is a really good mouse pad. I mean, pros even use it to this day because they're so used to it. It's been ingrained in the gaming culture and society for the longest time now. It's just here, it's not going anywhere. But that doesn't mean that there are durability issues and consistency issues. And for all of us that aren't sponsored, we're left with buying multiple of these mouse pads because they get worn down so fast. Now, the QCK actually feels faster and it glides a little bit smoother than the Zero FX. The Zero FX is a slow, controlled surface. This thing, it glides, it's very, very nice, but there's a lot of stopping power. It really reminds me of a Zowie GSR, the original version. If you really like a control mouse pad, this mouse pad is gonna be for you. But over time, as we know, the QCK really starts to deteriorate. It almost like you're, it's almost like you're rubbing a hole into the middle of your mouse pad with your mouse and uh, it's not a good feeling. It becomes scratchy and I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Something to me about it just doesn't feel right. And I know some of you guys out there have had that same experience. Overall, I think you can't go wrong either way, but if I had to choose, it would definitely be the Artisan because you're gonna save more money over time. Spend the 40 now, the 4,000 yen and get the good one or else you're gonna be replacing the Steel Series over and over and over again. Unless you're a person that is just has to have the Steel Series and that's been your jam for like the longest time, so be it. But if not, let's try out the Artisan FX0 in 2019, guys, because I think it is worth the money, in my opinion. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we are also Twitch streaming now, guys, and I will link it down below. I'm trying to do it every Monday and Tuesday, uh, about 8 or 9 PST. So go on there for some quality gameplay or just me getting owned. One of the two is going to happen. But uh, yeah, I love to see you guys there. 
Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I already said that. I will see you in the next one. It has been your boy BT saying peace.